Uh, here I'm going to use a photograph to create a piece of work uh, inspired by the work of Ian MacArthur. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to, to do with my photo is decide which area I'm going to draw in tone and which areas I'm going to draw in patterns. In the area that I want to go in patterns, I'm um, subdividing it in, in kind of subsections on here. Um, to choose those subsections, I'm trying to see uh, what the tone and kind of fur patterns uh, are doing doing on my picture and follow those on here uh, to create the star on there. So now I've traced my drawing onto a new piece of paper. Uh, so once I've done that, I'm going to start uh, obviously filling it in and uh, completing my drawing using tone and texture. So here I'm looking at my original photo and trying to copy the tone and texture as closely as possible. So I'm making sure my mark makings are following the fur and that I'm keeping the light areas light on here and making the dark areas light, uh, dark on there. So here I've got a second section that's uh, done using tone um, that I've got down here and I'm completing that. So on this section, uh, there's quite a big area that hasn't got a lot of tone on here. So that will be uh, keeping white. Then I'm going to go into uh, my pattern section. So here I'm uh, keeping making reference uh, to the work of Ian MacArthur to get inspiration from my own patterns. But I'm trying to work in a similar way that he does when he said that he works instinctively and just look at the picture and kind of think uh, which kind of patterns he can do in there. I'm trying to vary my thickness of lines. So I've got thick lines and thin lines and vary the type of patterns I've got on there too. So I've got some lines, I've got some curves and I've got some areas I colored in and some kind of dots and lines as well uh, and different kind of details on there. So I'm keeping filling in sections. I'm trying to have roughly a kind of symmetrical areas uh, now that I've got areas that are showing on both sides. But obviously that's kind of cut up by the area of tonal drawing that I've got on there. And I'm remembering also to add some detail to uh, my patterns on here. So even the bold patterns, I'm just adding some little bits of line and detail in between uh, to make them more interesting. Uh, here going for some bold dots and you might have noticed on some of these areas I'm shading the background and creating some gradients in the background too on there to make my work closer to Ian MacArthur's and more detailed and elaborate on there. So the last bits on here and I'm just adding a little bit of shading.